Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the Leave and Sort Order Level 2022, Question 4, and it's statistics. So let's have a look at the questions. First of all, we're going to um, make a pie chart, and you can see there we have a table of grades, so we have to put those into proportions in the pie chart. The second part in is the st normal distribution graphs, so we have to apply the empirical rule okay, to the limits up here, and then we have to interpret the 95% confidence interval okay, with the second part, and in part C then we have a set of data and we need to get the standard deviation and the range, okay, remember the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest value, so let's work all this out. So first of all, let's do the calculations and we have one already completed within the question and you can see there that 8, okay, is the first category and if we put 8 over the total number of students, when we sum them all together, we will get 72. And then if you multiply that by the total of 360 degrees, you will get the proportional sector and um, which would be 40 degrees all right so we're going to carry on with this process now for the high merit the merit and the achieved categories so for the high merit it will get 12 over 72 multiplied by 360 and as you can see there that's 60 degrees now we're on to the merit you can see the merit is 39 over 72 multiplied by 360 and again, that's already on the right hand side, 195 degrees. So that's perfect, that's working out. And finally then, okay, we have the, the achieved se section 13 over 72, which is 65 degrees. And that's the full breakdown of the pie chart. So make sure you um, answer everything completely. Mark in your angles and label the, your diagram as well. Alright, on to part B. And you can see there that we have a some data at the top here. So we have a mean of 100. And what's really important as well is the standard deviation. So remember with the empirical rule, we have like three different categories. We have the mean plus or minus one standard devi deviation and that's 68% and then we have the mean plus or minus two standard deviations and that's 95% okay and then the mean again we have three standard deviations for meter side and that will give a 95% window okay so when we have 80 to 120 we can go down one standard deviation there is minus 20 and plus 20 to go to those two values 120 and 80 so what does that mean well that means that there is like the mean plus or minus one standard deviation is going to be equal to 68 percent okay the first one all right so let's look at the second part going to change this to make it more clear so the top 2.5 percent scores are exceptional okay so what's the least score needed to get this grade so let's sketch this out okay so if we have the top 2.5 percent okay up here you know because the graph is symmetrical there will also be a mirror image of 2.5 percent down here so what does that leave in the center? Well, it's 95%. So again, that's going to be the mean plus or minus two standard deviations, which would be the mean 100 plus or minus um, 20 by 2. So that would be between 140 on the right hand side for the plus. And then on the left hand side, it would be 60. But as you're talking the exceptional scores, that's exceptionally good on the right hand side. So therefore the top 2.5% percent 
will be greater than 140. And that's part B. Let's go on to part C now, and we have to work out the range and the standard deviation from this data set. So the range is equal to the lowest minus the highest. So, so the low um, is the 82. And then we have the, well, we'll switch them up over the wave of the highest, 113 minus 82. And that will give us a difference of 31. Okay. All right, so back to front. Okay, so let's look at the standard deviation now. And we have a formula up here. And we're going to use that as from P in page 33 in our log tables, where you get the statistics information. And you, you look at it, the one with the N, okay, because we have the, we want to put the, it's not a population, it's a data set. Okay, so let's look at the parts in the formula. So we have the mean, okay, which is mu. And the mean of this data, you now we'll just go mu is equal to, and um, we're going to sum them all up and divide them by the number. So the sum there is pretty high, and we're going to divide by 6. So the mean is actually 99.3. Alright, so now what does this part mean up above? Okay, in the fraction, well, it means that we have to get uh, each value, subtract the mean and square it, okay, for we in here, and then we're going to sum them all up. So let's put it all together and make a table, okay? So what we're going to do here now is just going to set up our formula. So it's going to be the value minus the mean okay all to be squared okay so the first one if we take um 104 and then we subtract um the mean 99.3 and then if we square it we will get a total of 22.09 okay and we can keep going okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to keep going down through them. Okay, down to the end. So we get 105 minus 99.3 all to be squared. All right, so I'm going to write in all the values here. So the first one for the, for the 104 is 2209. The second one for 82 will be 299.29. And then we're on to 94, and we will get 28.09, and on to 113, and we will get the difference between that and the mean all to be squared is 187.69, and then the 98, it's the penultimate one, and then that will give 30. Or 1.69 and the last one is 32.49 so it's just calculator work there so we subtract the mean from all of those okay square it up mean the mean okay and you just square them all up and we'll get a total down here of 571.34 all right so we have the the numerator so now the standard deviation, let's write it in here. So that's going to be the square root of the sum. 571.34 all over 6. Sub into your calculator, square root your answer. And we will get a result of 9.7582. And we'll round it to one decimal place. So 9.8 is going to be the final result. So a lot of calculator work there. So thank you for joining Maths Plus and watch out for the next video coming soon for the solutions to the 2022 paper two.